Hey everyone, I had finally finished the journal. Um, I've been working really hard on the uh, September um, challenge from uh, Dear Julie Julie. I have her, her information down below. She does like monthly challenges and I, those who know me, I have never done one. Um, and I've been really wanting to learn how to journal and it's all new to me. Yes, I sell supplies for journalers and I figured it's probably in my best interest to learn how to create them, understand what you guys are needing. And knowing that, it was just so relaxing and so much fun. Um, and the month of September was uh, the month I decided to jump on board. So she had these, uh, and I'm going to jump on in here in a minute. If you're new here, you go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget the thumbs up. Um, all the information I'm talking about today is down below for Dear Julie Julie's uh, challenges. She's got a YouTube channel and she does these really cool challenges. And uh, it was quite a challenge for me. As you can see, I got my notes here. And um, so I'm going to give you a walkthrough of what my journal and how it turned out to be. But it's called Stash Busters. And what she has is S, anything for scraps, T for tags. And you have these three different things you have to do per letter. And it was, at first I was like, oh no. But then after a while it got easier. But anyways, enough said. Let me go ahead and show you what I got here. Um, I had taken a vintage book by Weather, uh, Weathers Poems. It's an 1800s book. Um, and look, see, I did this. I was, I'm just impressed. I know it's... <laughs> I'm sure it could be a little bit more neater. Um, hey, it was my first time. I really did not want to um, do anything to the book. I mean, I I didn't want to ruin the original part of it. I guess I could have layered some things and uh, what have you, but I didn't. But look how beautiful, guys. I used a lot of my favorite fabrics, uh, friendship fabrics. So it's for the month of September, and what I did... Um, I had a few ideas, but I, I kind of went off the theme of this um, daily, what do you call that? Like a daily, um, like like September 1st, September 2nd, September 3rd. I am like tongue-tied guy today, guys. I'm sorry. And so um, it's all scriptures per each day of that month. So I took the month of September, and as you can see, one of the pockets here, I created another little book. And um, in this little book, so this is September 1st, and this is September's challenge. I sound like I'm redundant here. And in this cute little book is every day thereafter, September 2nd, September 3rd. And it's like a daily scripture to read kind of thing. So I made like a little mini journal in itself, and I put it in one of the pockets um, that is a, a reused envelope that I got from um, Christy Brittleston, which you guys seen. I did a video today. Sorry if you're watching this yesterday. <laughs> and uh, this is her envelope that you guys seen in that video. And I just kind of put that journal right in there kind of thing. All right, so this journal is for me. I never make anything for myself. And I know I can sell it if I want to. But no, this one's mine. <laughs> I'm going to keep it because it was quite a challenge and I know one of the things uh, Julie is wanting to do is challenge people to learn and share it so that's me this is me I'm challenged <laughs> and it was quite a chore and I'm sure to you guys uh, who are journalers avid journalers it's not much at all but okay enough said so this is a pocket I didn't put nothing in there but I could put something in there I thought about putting some kind of note or what have you um, in there um, so that's just a cute little pocket. I did a ruffle, some beautiful vintage lace, some embroidery kind of thing. I need to press pause and get the kitty cats out of the room really quick. Okay, I am back. Um, <laughs> seems like wherever I'm at, they are at. Okay, so as you can see, that I have that there. Um, the first thing I wanted to do is a vintage um, postcard. I think it's from the 1800s as well, but I loved what it said, and I think it matched really well with the cover, so I figured the first thing I show um, is that, but it's got a beautiful greetings um, kind of card going on there. I did a lot of stitch work where I did a lot of the pretty floral stitch work. Did a lot of stitch work with my sewing machine. I'm, see, I'm, I'm a sewer. I like the quilt. I guess you could say quilter. Um, so I don't really, I have a glue stick. That's all I have. So a lot of my stuff I did sew um, on. So you see a lot of threads everywhere. 
kind of thing. So um, part of the challenge, you have to do tags and pockets and things like that. So I have um, a vintage flash car with an S. My name is Selena. So um, I have that there and good luck for me getting this back in. So I used the vintage seed, seed packet. I just did it upside down. They only matter. This page, I wasn't sure what to do, but I imagine I can add something later kind of thing. Um, so, so pretty much I kept the original poem pages from this book as well. You've seen this pocket already and I already showed you the cute little journal. I used Kanta fabric kind of thing and it just kind of goes right in there. This is an old vintage brooch. My daughter and I, we didn't know what to do with. She sells vintage jewelry and it's just okay. So I kept it. It just reminded me of her when I went to go visit her. So a little bit of my daughter. So of course, like I said, it's the first page for September for the for the challenge kind of thing. Um, I just did the stitch work of flowers. I really made this really scrappy and uh, pretty much it's the challenge was all about scraps and scrap papers and that's what I did. So we got some dyed papers here and I just kind of left the scrappy look. I love vintage Victorian so I just put some Victorian pages. Part of the challenge was to put some um, pages, book pages. <laughs> Here my cats are on like a, on a, a, a mission right now. So I did like a belly band here, um, cigarette card here. I got these here from Kristen Rock Paper Treasures, which tomorrow I upload a video um, showing a shop share and things that she has in her shop. And this is one of the things she has in her shop. I did get an amazing letter from Jewel. Julie, thank you. Hey, Julie, how you doing? And um, I will post her um, information down below as well. Wrote me a beautiful letter and then sent me these beautiful cards and she's part of the challenge as well. I known her uh, through Etsy and I thought, oh my gosh, how nice it was that. So what I'm going to do is um, put this in here is my goal. I was going to just fold this right here. That's boy cat. Sorry guys. He is so demanding. I'm telling you boy cat to GR. So she wrote a beautiful letter and I love the color of it. Okay. Enough. <laughs> Sorry. I'm talking to my cat. And um, I'm just going to stick it right in here. Thank you, Julie. That is awesome. And it just, it's nice when you get letters like that in the mail. And I will talk with you later about it. I am just really grateful. Thank you. And to be a part of a challenge, because usually, hang on, let me grab that real quick. Oh my goodness. They fight over my attention. It's like they're little children. Um, but no, so what I was saying is I, it's, I'm grateful that I meet people along the way that are not just in business, but um, I can actually do stuff with, and it's so nice. So thank you, Julie, so much. And you are in my very first journal completed. So thank you. So again, more stitch work. I'm going to try to carry this along. So there's a lot. Of course, the poem pages, I kept vintage pages. There's so much to show you. So I'm going to quickly go through vintage uh, French seed label. I put there some beautiful feed sack fabric that I got um, that I share with one of my friends. Of course, you can see the theme. I don't know if I'm in frame here. You guys, it's been months since I did videos. Of course, an envelope, and I'm sure I could put something in there, but I left room to put little letters and things like that in there later. I got a lot of space here. Did some layering of some dictionary pages vintage. Um, of course, I, you guys know me. I got stamps. <laughs> uh, coffee dyed paper. This was really fun. I took some wool yarn and brought it through here and weaved it through with a stamp. There's a pocket right here. So um, you can put something in there if you really wanted to. Um, this here is Amazing Grace. It reminds me of my grandma. And this is an old typewriter paper that's on pink paper. And I just love the amazing grace so it always puts tears to my eyes so i had to put that in there because it's um papers that i had um i don't know what this is called i'm learning <laughs> but um i did the beautiful stitch work there with some french a trim and that is one of the signatures that end so blue again like i am new at this so <laughs> i've been the biggest fear for me was tying in um signatures I just, I don't know, but now I did it. I am not like shaky and nervous and 
gosh, I got glue and stuff all over my hands, guys. I apologize. I've been working on this all day. I'm so proud of myself. Some more pages. Um, my favorite ones are the main pages. So I'm going to quickly go through there really quick. All right. So this is just in a pocket from the other side. All right. Where are you at? Okay. Here's another one. So I love doing stitch work. It's one of my favorites. Um, but this here is a beautiful postcard that I had to put in here. It's also got room for um, if I want to put a tag in there kind of thing. But it says, when it's you, I'm busy. And that's why you see no lengthy letters come from me. But not too busy to say hello any day along the way. I just thought it was cute. I don't know. I love quotes. I love poems. Um, this came from my friend Kristen as well. Some more poems. Of course, you guys, I love the French laces and I love the uh, silk brocades um beautiful vintage this is actually vintage flowers some of these are stickers in here because that was part of the challenge is stickers um vintage envelopes and letters um so I had one here and this is from the 18 sorry 1918 it says Knights of Columbus war activities and it's got a place to put like a tag in there if you want to but this is one of my favorite pages I don't know. I just loved it. I found this vintage piece of paper and the paper said the red is for love that will dare to do. The blue is for the sign of the brave and true. The white with all evil and wrong shall cope. All silver stars are in, sorry, all the silver uh, stays are the stars of hope. So yeah, it just, I don't know. I just thought I love finding the cute little scrappy papers um, and I just kind of made it I don't know what that's called layering or <laughs> it's just beautiful I just had fun lavender of course some vintage papers had some broken um, scrap pieces was part of the um, the stash and I had a broken postcard so I just kind of like scrappy put some bead sack there and this was the other end of it if I'm not mistaken there you go look at yep yeah. I just kind of cut it layered this and uh, this is like a vintage 10 this one's chiffon or georgette silk and then this here is a beautiful silk hanky i found i just kind of like stitched her right on here <laughs> i'm in love with that feed sack i gave a yard of it to my dear friend and i've never owned a, a yard to keep um but anyways so i did some music pages in here of course i had to put a kitty cat as you guys can hear they're driving us nuts another signature let's get through here and go to the front and then the other one because you guys pretty much know the vintage papers and da ha here we go i have a beautiful um brooch that goes here but i needed to get a glue gun and put it right on there but isn't that cute okay so we're on home stretch here guys oh this was cute so we had to get um um some envelopes and stuff from our garbage you know like garbage mail kind of thing and that's what this is and I just kind of did it you had to do a tag of course and I did a beautiful bird tag and I left some of that wool trim there and put it right in there it almost looks like the, you're looking out a window I don't know at least to me it did and looking at the bird on the line kind of thing this is from Christy from Mandela uh, Meta Studio one of her packages I kept it and just Put it right on there of course a snippet of lace there's also room if you want to do i left this open-ended if i want to do a tag coming out this way i just ran out of time guys <laughs> uh, hey i worked hard guys some vintage quotes and a um, lot of room to play with here oh this was fun okay we had like a, a mini challenge and you had to layer and have pages and stuff so i did a vintage envelope here from the 1900s and I stitched it on there and made it like a side pocket and then this is cute the love rock there um I made a little booklet cute little booklet and I kind of layered a vintage stamp and a little boy boy stop and just kind of layered some Georgette silk and some beautiful trim left a big trim at the back so yeah so that goes into here might be a little tight because I just got done with this, guys. <laughs> hey, I worked hard all day. I didn't even work today. That is a rare moment. Okay, so some vintage papers. 
everything that is vintage in here is 100% vintage. You guys know me, I love vintage. Um, but yes, this looks so vintage. Got a post, a playing card there. I love it. it says my treasures. Isn't that cute? Of course, I had to do stitch work, guys. This is really cute. I got that from Kristen also at Rock Paper Treasures. Guys, she's got the most beautiful vintage pieces. Um, it says here, um, but the treasure is in the last, anyways, I'm not going to read it to you. But anyways, it's the same page as the treasure chest, and it's a different, like, uh, quotes and stuff. And I put a piece of uh, vintage music paper, and I just looked very childish. And I thought it looked, I don't know, children, childish. It was just cute. This came from some vintage stamps that I had. I just kind of cut it out. Um, and I just kind of made that into a little pocket. How I come up with that, I don't know. Just kind of went with it, guys. <laughs> Another page where I took that old wool stuff and just stitched it on there with to put a cigarette uh, card in there. Vintage stamp. Layered here, too, as well. Different vintage stamps on some paper. Some French CPAC labels. Um, of course, I use the Corsage pen. You guys know me who follow me know I love the Corsage pens. Of course, I stitched, stitched, stitched everywhere. <laughs> I love my sewing machine. It felt so good today getting on it and just sewing away. All right, so I love this one here. It says home again. It's almost like going on home stretch here, right, guys? This here also came from Chrissy uh, Brilson's gift that you guys seen in the video today, or sorry, the video yesterday. Just kind of cut that and put that on there. I even did her like little lotus, I think, flower. Um, stitch and remind me of her so threads are everywhere guys i kind of kept them long i've seen that some of you guys do that which is cool oh part of the style challenge we had to do uh strips of paper like um colt with it so i did that i don't know how i came up with that it just i didn't know what to do so i just oh my goodness i just kind of did it you know i was like okay got it done we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. All right, the end. Come here. Oh, that's the other end of that little um, envelope. And I have this cute little booklet that comes out here. I love it. It says, My Mother Dear. I don't know why. I just love the page. And I just did a little ruffle of the chiffon of the Georgette silk and made a cute little pad of paper. Just look cute. I don't have stamps, like where you ink stamps or anything. So I've seen where you guys stamp on these and stuff like that. Hey, I'm, I'm getting my stash kind of thing. It's getting there. Music paper, and I ended with that. I imagine I could personalize it right here at the end. Um, but that's what I have, and there's the back. I know I could have done a little bit better, but hey, I I did it. <laughs> that's all that matters is that I did it, and I'm so proud of myself. So there you guys have it. I did it. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up. Now I need to wash my glue fingers and I'm glad I, I did this challenge. I was concerned that I wasn't going to be able to finish it. Thank you guys for watching. I'm proud of myself and I just most of all I want to thank you guys for inspiring me to do this. So you guys have a beautiful day. Bye.